Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today. Today we're doing a really simple upgrade but it has big benefits. So today what we'll be doing is upgrading the detent springs and transmission. Got these from Hybrid Racing. For the B-Series you're only going to use two of the springs. The third one is in the transmission so it's not as easy to get to. But then while we do that I decided, you know what, I don't know when the transmission fluid was changed in this car, so we're going to put some new transmission fluid in there, and we're going to be doing this on my B-Series uh, EJ1. So first things first, let's get this car jacked up, and I'll show you the locations of the springs. Okay, I got the car jacked up, got my light for you guys, we'll have to get under the car, but... So you guys know, if you haven't heard of these, these detent springs, they're in the transmission. I'll put a picture up right here. And it's for the selector uh, arm. And the, there's a ball bearing that sits at the end of this in the transmission. And then when you go into gear, it will push up to lock it in place. So, on this car, I think stock. But when you go into gear like that, it'll just feel a lot more notchier. Alright, coming under the car here. Here's the transmission. Uh, you're going to remove these two bolts right here. And the spring is going to be sitting right inside the bolt. And then the ball bearing is going to be on top. So we'll do this one at a time. Take it out. Uh, make sure you don't drop the ball bearing and then we'll replace the spring. There they are right there. And then we'll take these springs out and kind of compare the two. And then for these springs, these springs work for B series, D series, K series, and I think F series too. You can go on Hybrid Racing's website and check it out. There are a few models in the K series and I think F series that doesn't fit, but uh, for I think $16, it's a good upgrade. So let's get these OEM springs off, open these up and kind of compare the two. <laughs> stock springs push them down as hard as I can here let me try to get focus for you so there's some resistance but I can push them down all the way and then here is hybrid racing oh yeah that's a lot stiffer Okay, kind of got it focused. You can tell that the hybrid racing spring is a thicker. About the same size. But this spring is a lot stiffer. So that's what's going to give you the notchy fill going into gear. So all we have to do is put these in here. And then back in the transmission. Uh, for K-Series, I forgot to mention... My friend, Alan Speck, I'll leave a link to his video up here for K-Series. Uh, it's in a different location, but his video, he goes over it really well. So I'll leave a link up there and also down in the description below. But let's get these put in and then let's drain the uh, fluid and put some new Honda manual transmission fluid in. <laughs> and detent springs are in time to change the transmission uh, oil you don't have to do this in a video I watched the guy did lose a little bit of oil when he removed the second bolt I didn't so I don't know if I'm a little bit low so I'm gonna change it out 
because I didn't do the swap. I just want to know that there's fresh fluid in there and I'm just using OEM uh, manual transmission fluid from Honda. Also, I got this blocked uh, magnetic plug that I got when I bought the combo kit with the oil plug. But for the to drain the transmission oil, you're just going to need a ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, and then here's the plug right here. So let's get this drained. Okay, time to fill it up. I'm going to go through the speed sensor, which is right here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right there I need to remove and then unplug the socket here and it should come out. Then I'll fill up the 2.2 uh, quarts it needs. Alright, got the speed sensor out. I cleaned it off some. Can't wait to be able to just clean this whole bay up. Uh, take the engine out. You know, fix any leaks and just get this whole bay looking really clean. I got the speed sensor right here. Uh, got this funnel right here with the little hose on it. Got that for $5 at AutoZone. But we'll be using 2 quarts and 0.2 of this. We can just measure it off or we can just measure it off in here before you open it up to let it in. So let's get the fluid in and then we can see how it feels. Alright, got buttoned back up, got the speed sensor cleaned up and put back in. For the last quart of oil, I am just taking one of these empty ones, pouring it up to the 200 here, so I can just dump it in the funnel, make it easy. But let's get this car jacked up, get the jack stands out and lowered, and then we can go for a little drive and see how it feels. Alright, got the car lowered. Let's go inside and see if we can feel a difference. It's by going into different gears. Oh yeah, I can. This is starting to feel more like the K-Tune shifter combo I have for my Integra. So once I get uh, a shifter for this, Yeah, it'll feel good. Uh, the two springs I did, I believe, were first and second, third and fourth. So I'm just testing, yeah. Fifth seems a little bit loose, but these feel a lot more notchier. So, we'll see. I'll go for a little drive around the block and see how it feels driving. Just got back from driving the car around. It feels amazing. Can't wait till I get a short shifter in there to get even more notchier. But for $16, these hybrid racing D10 springs is something that everyone should get if they're into driving their car like I am. Like I said, $16, perfect upgrade for anyone that has a B series, D series, K series, and I think F series too. I don't know, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can pick these D10 springs up. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for th this week's video. Hopefully you guys can like, like this video. Leave a comment down below. Do you have D10 springs? What kind of setup are you running with your shifter? Let's, let's have a conversation down below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>